In the name of my health and yours, Holmes, stop smoking so much. There is more fog in our apartment than in the street. You are right, Watson, but this evening is never-ending, and I have nothing to do but make smoke rings. A more amusing pastime would suit better, but my doctor is against it. Perhaps a little tune on the violin. My heart is not in it tonight, Watson. Have you noticed how this cigarette burns? Would you not say it is like a life being consumed? How many lives will end tonight in London? How many crimes will be committed within the life of a single cigarette? Ah, the vanity of existence. It is but complaints and smoke, the meagre panache of its sickly soul. The tobacco is giving you very somber thoughts. I am certain that this inactivity will not last. Let's retire. You'll be in better humour tomorrow. Reason speaks. Let's to bed. Come this way, my lovely. We'll have a right good time. Wait, let me help you. Oh, it's my hair that pleases you. The news is as dark as the sky, Holmes. An inquest has been opened into the murder of a poor woman in the East End. The unfortunate girl was discovered last night, lying in the street, still warm. The murderer was filled with an incredible savagery. Oh, the article gave me shivers down my spine. The inspectors in charge of the case don't seem to have even the slightest lead. A similar murder took place less than a month ago. Ah, love. A romantic walk, a kiss in the moonlight, a polite refusal, a terrible anger, and a hanging. This area of Whitechapel is a disgrace to London. The government should take serious note of what is going on there. Whitechapel? This woman was found in Whitechapel? Yes, indeed. Bucks Row, to be specific. Then it was not a question of romance, but of commerce. Unless these women actually take pleasure in the vice, the female nature is completely... Holmes! Do you hear yourself? A woman is dead under unspeakable circumstances. No less than any other, she was a human and one of Her Majesty's subjects. None of these street walkers of which you speak have any other way to survive but by selling their bodies. You know as well as I that our era is not a gentle one, and these women don't have much to look forward to. Some grace, if you would. 
Do not refuse them your compassion. Do not say another word, my dear Watson. We shall leave immediately for Whitechapel. To the scene of the crime? No, I think it would be better to arrive there a bit later once night has fallen. At the moment, the spot will be overrun by police officers and spectators. It would be impossible to investigate properly. Then where are we going, Holmes? The best thing to do would be to head to the police station and attempt to get a copy of the preliminary reports. But the article in the Star seemed quite complete to me. You must know, Watson, that journalists often draw conclusions from the facts without a proper understanding of how to do this delicate task. We must obtain the reports from the inspector in charge, as well as those from the coroner. Very well, Holmes, but all the same. It seems to me that I have a map of London somewhere, Watson. Can you find it and locate Whitechapel while I get ready? Hmm. You are too kind, Holmes. Searching through your mess... Well, well, Holmes has received some French champagne with a card, a gift from a young admirer. Holmes's experiment table. Holmes's violin. A map of London, at last. Let's see, the district of Whitechapel. I found the map, Holmes, and I was able to locate the Whitechapel police station. Congratulations, Watson. Come, the game is afoot. You can read the article to me on the way. We have arrived, Watson, in Whitechapel. Not very bright, and what cold! Brr, a typical London morning. Come, Watson, let's find this police station. Excuse me, my good man. Now nah, time to chat, I've got business, got it? Excuse me, my good man. Now nah, time to chat, I've got business, got it? Hmm, I have nothing to ask.
Then quickly, let's get to the police station. <laughs> 